Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com and I've been promising that I'll do a review on the Oculus Rift. Finally today I'm going to do it and I'm going to talk a little bit about just my experience with Oculus Rift. So it's not going to be really like a, a video of of me showing you VR because that would be really hard to do without, you know, without you having VR. That that'd be pretty interesting. But I have to I have to tell you, I was a bit skeptical of the whole VR thing. I I really, I mean, I had experienced it a little bit before. I'd done a roller coaster that had VR goggles, you know, with, with they actually use a phone, a Samsung phone, and I wasn't that impressed, and I'd seen some demos, and it was sort of impressive, but when I put the Oculus on my face, I was like, holy shit, this is freaking awesome. I do not ever want to play a non-VR game again. That's that's how awesome that I thought it was, and, and I'm, I've had it for a while now, since Christmas, and... I have really, I haven't changed my opinion. I, in fact, I like it even more. It's just so awesome. I'm actually playing games. It actually got me into playing games again because it's it's just such a great experience. It feels like to me, okay, the first time that you turn on the Super Nintendo, if, if those of you that, that can date back to that. I mean, I love the regular NES, but there was just something magical about Super Mario World and the 16-bit graphics and colors, and you're like, wow this experience is so awesome, you know, playing Super Mario World and Castle Super Castlevania 4 and Contra 3, right? That was, or is it, is it 3? Contra 3? I think it was Contra 3. Anyway, that was just such a, an amazing experience. To me, it was, it was like the, you know, some people said they got that same experience when they first turned on the Nintendo 64 and played Mario 64, and and that's that's the kind of experience. It's like one of those changing ones. The other one that I would say is like when I signed on to World of Warcraft for the first time, and it was like, wow, this is amazing. This like you know, but but that's that's one of these experiences. There's not too many of those that come along, right? In the last, I don't know, however many years console gaming and stuff it, it hasn't been impressive it just hasn't even computer gaming you know more graphics more 3d big deal but this vr man it's just so freaking awesome so let me show you the oculus real quick all right so you can see here here is the the oculus rift basically what you get is you get this headset and it's got these little <laughs> little lenses inside there the it it's pretty immersive right so it's got the audio you don't realize how much the audio like this this is pretty good it blocks out everything like when you've got that full experience like i have had people walk into the room and tap me on the shoulder and i have not even noticed it because i'm so into it uh it also has this little thing this is what you hook up by usb and it will detect the rift and, and where your where your head is and in your head movement the the rift itself you have to connect verse via the hdmi and then you also have to connect a usb so there's you know two usb connections between the sensor and the headset itself bit of a pain i wish that there was a simpler way to do that but hey you know it works and you know the cool thing about this the sensor is really it really works this one little sensor works really well it tracks your head movements like perfectly and that's that's the one thing i think that i wasn't prepared for like when you think about vr i think a lot of times you don't think about how the head tracking is going to work and affect uh, the gaming experience. Also, one thing I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, you use the, usually an Xbox controller. They also have another controller that you use that I haven't used, just a regular controller that comes with it. But you can also get these touch controls. I forget what they call them. They might just be touch. I play with this a little bit. One of my friends brought brought them over. I'm probably going to buy some. But in order to do that, you also need another one of these things. And they actually recommend three sensors. But it was it's pretty awesome the first time that you see your hands in, in a game. So anyway, what I was talking about is, is basically like what you don't realize, what I didn't realize with the VR, was when I put that headset on, that like when I move my head, I would... It's not just that you're seeing you know around you which is which is pretty awesome but like you're pointing so you actually the controls and the menus and some of them like it knows where you're focusing and so you can actually like control a cursor by moving your head and it's not strained at all it, it's like so natural it it feels like it's one of those things where okay so here, here's the best way i can describe it right so you know how on on a joystick right on a controller 
a lot of times, like like let's say you're playing a Zelda game or something, you've got one of the the sticks that controls your head movement, like where you can change the camera angle. Well, in VR games, your head controls your head movement, right? So you don't have that. The camera angle is changing automatically. So it's almost like it's one of those things where it becomes an abstraction, right? This is like that magical thing that happens where it just feels natural. It just works. And that's that's one of those things. It's one less control. So you're more immersed in the game because we're, you know, it's, it's one less control that you need. It's kind of hard to describe, but I mean, you still got to move around when, when we get that part. That I think that that will change the game as well. But but that's the other piece of this is the hands. So I didn't realize this. I'm like I said, I want to get the touch controls. But when my friend brought them over, he and when we hooked it up, when I first saw my own hands in VR, it was it was another one of those amazing experiences. Like just felt so natural. It, it's unbelievable how natural it felt. I actually punched my freaking microphone. <laughs> because I didn't realize that I was in the game like I didn't I wasn't aware of my space I didn't think that would happen to me so anyway I'm I'm really really excited about this technology I mean and these are like the resolution on this I think is 1080 by 1024 that's shit that's shit resolution can you imagine when we get really high def VR it's going to be insane it, it it just blows my mind. I'm so sold on this technology. It, it, it's so much fun. I'm, I'm really having a lot of fun. Even platformer games, you know, there's, let's talk about the games that came with Oculus. Or, so the, it came with a platformer game that's basically Mario 64. It's like Mario 64. And it's, it's pretty fantastic. Like you wouldn't think that type of game would benefit from VR, but it totally does. Like it puts you in a camera perspective and you can look over cliffs and it, it feels like you're right there like watching the character. It makes the whole experience that much more immersive. Uh, one of my favorite games I played so far is a game called Kronos, which is this RPG that has fantastic graphics. I was able to turn them all up to ultra thanks to my, my super beefy laptop. You can check out the review I did on that here. But it's it's just fantastic. It's a really good game, by the way. Just the concept of when you die, you you age a year, and just the graphics and some of the landscape. I mean, it's a perfect game for VR because the the environment, the the kind of alien landscapes that they had was just so beautiful. And when you look at it in VR, it makes you realize that VR is going to be used for art. Like it, it is such an experience, you know, video games in, in a sense are art, but this is taking it to the whole next level where you have an immersive experience where it might not even be a game, but just art that's created specifically for VR for you to examine within a VR world. I see a ton of application of this. The other thing I'd say is the menuing, right? Just the controls, like I said, that head control, like becoming an abstraction where you don't even notice it, where it's so natural. Some of the games and some of the the programs for VR use that as a menu navigation. And so it, it just it just works so perfectly because you could look around the room and point to different things and and basically select menu items by by essentially directing your focus by looking at them. And, and it just makes so much sense. It's one of those things that just naturally, naturally clicks. So I'm really sold on it. I like the Oculus. I know there's some competitors out there to the Oculus. You can, of course, you know, check out the Oculus here if you want to buy it. But I've heard that the 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 Vive is is pretty good as well. Maybe maybe better. I don't know. But um, I'm trying to think what else there is. There is oh, then there's a PlayStation VR. I'm not so sold on the PlayStation VR. I haven't heard greatest things about it, but the Oculus definitely. I know it's expensive, but it's totally totally worth it in, in my opinion. I I haven't been excited about technology like this in a very very long time. So I I recommend it. Like I said, I, I think that it's 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 the future. In my mind, it's very clear that you know w when you find something that is so much better than everything else, where it creates that experience, that Super Nintendo experience. Like I said, I, I think that th there's no way that we can go back. This isn't like 3D television where it was a gimmick and everyone's like, oh, okay, that was fun for a little bit, or or the Wii remote on on the Wii controller. I believe that this is a, a total game changer, and this that this is the future. I'm, I'm I'm pretty sold on this. One other thing I would say about this is that I did get a little bit sick. 
the first time I put this on. I think my tolerance has has climbed. I think it takes some time, but I would get sick within about maybe five minutes or 10 minutes. Now I can go like an hour, hour and a half without really getting sick, but I eventually have to take the thing off because it does, does tend to make me a little bit sick. I think you build up a tolerance for it, except, you know, I did try a racing game and that <laughs> I couldn't even do that for like two minutes. I was just, just hosed. Anyway, there, there you go. That's my, my review of the Oculus Rift. I, I think it's pretty cool. I suggest you get one. I've had a lot of fun with it and it, it's really brought back my, my love for gaming, uh, to be honest with you. And so I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing some VR games now that it's, you know, it's such a significant step up that it's worth me devoting the time again. It's got me excited again, whereas the other stuff is just, it's kind of the same boring shit. So there you go. If you like this video, if you want to check out my other reviews and the other videos that I do on this channel, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and I will talk to you next time. Take care.